Hi, everybody. <laughs> Janice, what happened? I, I thought I thought there was something wrong with your camera before you came on. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Mark Fisher, Janice Gillum Grady, Scientology Peeling the Onion. This is our anniversary show. How are you doing, Janice? I'm good. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I literally I, thought there was something wrong with your camera. I mean, what the heck was that? <laughs> I thought it's time to celebrate, so why not? <laughs> That was funny. Hello, everybody in the chat. We're happy that you're here. Happy birthday to us. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. And uh, let us know in the chat where you're watching from and uh, and all that good stuff. Uh, this is basically we're going to talk about our last year of doing YouTube, uh, you know, Scientology Peeling the Onion. We started out with a different name at the beginning. But uh, I see people are coming in here. Hi, Mary, uh, Mary Kate London. She's a member of our channel. And uh, Necessary Trouble says, uh, love your channel, Mark and Janice. Congrats on one year. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. And uh, we've got somebody here from Colorado. That's where Love It's from. Uh, yep. Anyway, we appreciate everybody that is coming in here and stuff. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, talk a little bit about the last year or so, what we've been up to and uh, what the what the channel's done. It's far exceeded anything that we did, uh, you know, that we thought that would happen with the channel. And then we're going to also let you, you know, write comments and we'll pop them up. And also, if you have questions, write the word question so we can start and we will answer all the questions as we go along and and uh, and throughout. So uh, we really appreciate it. If you want to super chat, super sticker us, you can do that as well. Buy us a coffee. Uh, we appreciate the support, anything like that. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. Janice, I wanted to uh, ask you, uh, yeah. you had a great you had a good day today, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went, I went horse riding and the weather, weather is great, but I'll tell you with the change in weather, my horse has Cushing's, so she has to have a medication and those horses that have Cushing's, they don't shed really well. So I got to get her shaved, but I went out there to ride her and she looks like an Icelandic pony. She just, her hair is like this long. Because and it was cold this winter. Right? Yeah, it's been a cold winter, so I've got to get her shaved to get it down to the quarter horse look rather than an Icelandic pony. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. But I Hi, even had funny. someone, I had a horse trainer even say to me, what kind of horse is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it's 80 degrees here. We're finally are starting to hit some warmer yeah. weather, which is nice. Uh, we, we got a super sticker here from Freya Mind. Hey, thank you so much. We appreciate your support on this anniversary. Thank you so much for that. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's wonderful weather. I've got Misha here. I'm sure you got Rocky and Moose there and uh, yeah, uh, they're you know, somewhere. part of the show as well. And uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, get started. Janice, why don't you let everybody know, how did we even start doing this in the first place one year ago? Yeah, um, well, a friend of mine and Cheryl and I, we did a seven week road trip visiting old friends, ex -Seog members. And when I got to Clearwater, I, I called Aaron Smith Levin and I said, hey, Aaron, I'm in town. And he's like, oh, come on by, let me, let me interview you. So I did an interview with him and, and I'd also watched other, a few other channels and my whole thing was people didn't know the history of why certain things were the way they were and how things started. And so that's where, when I talked to Aaron, it was like, I, I started filling in some information for people. And that's when I was like, and Aaron was like, you know, you should start your own channel. So when I came back to Vegas, I was talking to you and you have such, you have experience with, with Miscavige and I have the experience with Hubbard. It was like, Hey, what a perfect combination we can give the history. And then I had this whole photo collection that I just love to show my photos off, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so it was like, okay, let's include the photos. And so I think it was, it was well matched and it's turned out well. 
That's right. I, I was going to say, we have a couple of secret weapons on this channel. Uh, one is Janice's connections to people all over the world who used to be in Scientology, right, and used to be in the Sea Organization. And number two is her wealth of photography or photographs that she's collected over the years. And then I've had the ability to go and search on the internet in order to find other uh, photos that we haven't been able to get. And I think we're, I think we show more photos than just about any other channel. Uh, and we do that in order to basically demonstrate whatever it is that we're talking about so people people can actually see, you know, what was happening and what, what was going on or what people look like rather than just talking. Yeah. And that's been yeah, kind put of a thing. put a face to a name that people hear about for years and bring yeah. that person to life and you know acknowledge them for who they were or are. That's right. That's right. Well, we got started a year ago and of course our you know, our production quality is not the, the best, but it was really pretty rotten when we first started up. <laughs> and uh, we progressively got better and better at it. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just do a quick little recap of the type of what we've covered on this uh, channel. Uh, first of all, we covered the history of L. Ron Hubbard so far. We're not done with it, but we've covered, we've interviewed lots of people from Ken Urquhart, who was L. Ron Hubbard's butler and St. Hill and personal communicator on the ship. These are just some of the thumbnails of, uh, you know, some of the shows we've covered about Hubbard on our channel. And you can actually go, if you haven't seen these and you're new to our channel, you can watch these shows anytime that you like. But uh, we covered L. Ron Hubbard, right? We've also told personal stories and, and our own histories. Uh, Janice, you did a whole series uh, on the, being a messenger with L. Ron Hubbard, right? Yeah, I've only done eight of them so far. We've still, only. I've still got more. <laughs> only? Well, yeah, only. <laughs> but there's still more to go because I've only gotten us to La Quinta and I still have more stories in La Quinta and photos. And I still got a cover of moving to Hammett or Gilman Hot Springs or Gold or Int, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, so there's there's still a lot more to go. But it's, I, it's actually been fun doing this and going through the photos and talking telling the different stories. Yeah, and it's been fun for me because even though I was in the Sea Organization, I was after the ship and seeing the photographs and you telling the stories about Hubbard and the messengers and all that was quite very enjoyable for me. I, I see these photos and I'm like, wow, I can't believe it. You know, pretty amazing. We also told personal stories that told about my escape and that was with Jack, Gary Jackson Moorhead on our channel. And of course, Janice, we told your story of being locked up for 11 days at La Quinta and that's you yep. right there from that time yep. period and, and uh um, go ahead mark yeah, yeah. though we've told my locked up days and because i was trying to leave i stupidly let myself be convinced to stay and i stayed another um uh 10 12 years after That's after right. being locked up <laughs> and, and i don't <laughs> think I've, I've told my escape story when paul and i left so we'll have to get it do that one time in the future Absolutely. We'll do that. I see. Thank you so much for the super sticker, uh, Boda29. We really appreciate that. I just wanted to mention that. And, and then, of course, we covered David Miscavige and Tom Cruise. They're very popular on the YouTube channels. And uh, I had a long history with David Miscavige. And I was there when Tom Cruise and David Miscavige met for the first time. And we told that story here on this. This is one of our first videos. And it's been one of our most popular ones. It was the beginning of the bromance. And I was there the day that Miscavige met Tom Cruise and the whole preparations for that and, and all that. And so we told that story. And then uh, we also covered, we covered several stories about Miscavige, but we covered his wedding to Shelley Miscavige in December, 1980, right, Janice? Tell, tell everybody yes. we had a surprise on that one, right? <laughs> yeah, we did. We had Tom Francis, who was Shelley's boyfriend before uh, Dave. And so that was, we had a good interview with him. And you know what's funny, Mark? While we were sitting here talking, you know how Google Photos or something brings up memories? A yeah. picture of Tom, a picture of Tom Francis at another friend's wedding pops up on my screen of all days. That's funny. Well, there's more, there's more to that story than that, Janice. I mean, you, we literally were going to do the show and somehow tell the story about, I don't know how, did he reach out to you? Cause he watched no. the show or you reached out to him? Cause we, we couldn't remember. We, we knew the name Tom Francis and all that. And we had the photos. But all of a sudden, out of the blue, he just contacted you, right? Well, what had happened actually is I was in contact with one of his friends 
And he'd sent me the photographs of his wedding, which Tom Francis was in. And then I was like, where is Tom? And that's when he says, oh, you can find him on Facebook. And I found him on Facebook and sent him a message. And he answered me and he was like, sure, I'll come on the show. <laughs> Yeah, and he'd never spoken out before. It was just really funny no. uh, that we, we put him on, mm -hmm. and it was really great to see him. I met him in 1978 briefly. And uh, so anyway, so that was a nice surprise. But you can watch the show on our channel about uh, Tom, uh, Dave and Shelley's uh, wedding. And then, of course, we've also covered uh, how did Miscavige take over after L. Ron Hubbard? Was he uh, the anointed one? And we've covered, we have several videos on that on our channel where people can watch and see uh, where we go into detail about that. Because uh, we were around when Miscavige took over, and he was not he, supposed to be the one in charge. He was not anointed. He was definitely no. not. No. Yeah. Anyway, so we covered that. We also did a lot of first-time interviews. I counted up yesterday. We've had 47 guests that we've interviewed, some of them multiple times. And that doesn't even include Misha, Rocky, and Moose, who have also been appearing on our show. Right, Janice? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, where'd they go? Oh, they're outside my door. <laughs> well, we had we had a couple of first time interviews. I just wanted to point out. We did the first interview with Biddy Miscavige Blythe, uh, and uh, she's the mother of Sterling Tompkins and also the mother of Jenna Miscavige. And uh, she'd never spoken out to anybody. And Janice, you got you were able to get her to come on our channel, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, Biddy's an old friend of mine. We've known each other since we were about. 14, 15 years old. Oh, look. Yeah. And this, and just just so people know, this is the most popular show we've ever had was the one with Biddy Miscavige. We she she was more more viewed than anybody else by light years. So anyway, so if you want to see that, it's on our channel. And yeah. who just popped in, look, Janice? Look who's here. My daughter, Erin. <laughs> Hi. Um, we did an interview with Erin. We did several interviews with her and with uh right. Sterling and yeah, so all the, and we the talked dogs about, are happy uh, to see her. I can't. We hear talked you. about life after the Sea Org and uh, oh, you and, can't. Uh, mm -mm. That's all right. Yeah, she couldn't hear because. Hi, right, now I can hear you. Okay, no, I was just say we we talked to you about being raised by a parent who was in Scientology in the Sea Organization, your whole family before you were born and all that, and uh, that was really wonderful. And uh, of course, we also see your your beautiful daughter Elizabeth every once in a while. So Janice, that's actually yeah. forty seven plus four because we got Misha, Rocky, Moose, and Elizabeth. Those are additional oh, guests that we've had. That's that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and hi to the Elizabeth on here. I, she's ordered a few times for me. She's so great. Oh, Elizabeth, yeah, yeah. yeah. One of our yeah. uh, subscribers, Elizabeth. Yeah, happy yeah. anniversary, by the way, guys. Well, thank you. Oh, thank you. One year, that's an accomplishment. Yeah. Yeah, thanks very much. And that's of course, Jan, uh, we want to mention uh, Aaron. Aaron has a, she has a business, uh, healedbyoracle.com. And uh, we wanted to show her product. If you guys are interested, Jan, uh, Aaron, tell people a little bit about your your product, your uh, Healed oh, by Mir you. your, your Miracle <laughs> Solve. Go ahead. My Miracle Solve, yeah. Yeah. Um, sure. Yeah. Uh, it is handmade currently, and there's six natural ingredients, and it's really meant for anti-inflammatory assistance, I guess you could say. I made it for massage, but people find that even just spot treatments of, of inflammation, it's really helpful. It's um, CBD, right? It's CBD salve? There is CBD in it. Yeah, the emu oil, I think, is the, the standout ingredient, though. It's what makes the CBD oil really able to do its job. And um, a lot of your viewers have been so supportive and kind and helpful. And actually, because of that, because it's your one year anniversary and your audience has been so great to me, I wanted to give another 10% discount to everyone for your anniversary. So that'll last for a week. You just use the code one year. And uh, the, discount, the discount code is one year, all one word, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. I got it there on the screen. And you can get it at www.healedbyoracle.com. That's her website where you can order it there. And, uh, you know, it, it's great for, you know, the aches and pains as we get older. <laughs> You're so prepared, Mark. I didn't expect you to have all this to show. I'm shocked. Well, I, you. I, you know. <laughs> 
I, I just do my job here. <laughs> <laughs> you do a good job, Mark. I've got some oh, things thanks to very pick much. Up while I'm here at the okay. house, but thanks for letting me say hi, and I hope you guys have okay. a good show. Bye. Thanks very much, Aaron. Bye bye. Hey, uh, one other thing too, we got Denver Stevo is in the house. And he just gifted ten me memberships to our channel, Scientology Peeling the Onion memberships for free. He he bought them, but they're gift memberships for thirty days. And so you're randomly going to be, if you're in the chat, you're going to be getting a membership. And uh, we appreciate that, Denver Stevo. You've been a good friend and a good member of our channel. And uh, just to mention the memberships, if you want to be a member. You get the free membership that'll last for a, a month and then after that if you want to reorder it's like 3.99 a month or whatever there's no contract you can cancel at any time but it's just a, a, another way that you can support our channel and we've got quite a few people that are doing that and uh, we would like to uh, uh thank denver stevo and he has been a member for eight months so that's also on here <laughs> 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 but it's good to see you, Denver Steve. We really appreciate yeah, it. All right. It's been a while. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. I think it's anyway. been a while since I've seen him come on. Well, maybe because yeah, we yeah. don't do many lives. No, but he he's been he's been busy as well. But anyway, we wanted to yeah. mention that as well. But anyway, I want to get back to I mentioned Biddy Miscavige. The other first interview that we did was with uh, Mitch Brisker. He was the he hadn't spoken out yet on anybody's show, and we did an interview with him. And then, of course, we did several with him. And then he's had, got a book that's come out. He started his own YouTube channel. But that also was another first timer. But like I said, we've had quite a few people come on for the first time. And uh, we also covered Scientology abuses and the abuse stories. All right. That's we don't just cover the history. Yeah. We cover the abuse stories. Uh, we This was an interview that we did with Ken Urquhart about the creation of the Rehabilitation Project Force, the RPF. And uh, Ken was the one who created it. And uh, he goes into detail about how it came about and what re what was involved and what it was intended to do. And if you want to find out about the Rehabilitation Project Force and why it was set up, um, you can watch this video. It's on our channel. Uh, we've got a, a whole uh, playlist of Ken Ur Urquhart interviews, but you can check it there. And uh, you know, if you want to find out about it, so we covered that. Uh, also. Uh, we were, Danielle Chamberlain came on our channel and uh, she'd been on the Apollo as a young child all by herself. And she told her stories about the abuses that she suffered on the Apollo. Janice had never met her, even though they were, there was a big ship and they never met, but you know, her stories were really, really eye opening to us. We had not heard uh, these stories before and, uh, and she's spoken out now on other channels as well, but uh, we covered, uh, you know, the abuse on there. Yeah, Janice. Yeah, we had met. I just at first hadn't remembered her and we did the interview. And then that night I woke up. Oh, I remember her. <laughs> you know, sometimes I have a bit of a lag, but I usually. Yeah, it's only been her. like 50 years. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Yeah. But yeah, no, anyway, but then we told that we told this, heard the story of abuse on the Apollo there as a child, you know. And then, of course, we had another video that we did with Sandy Holman talking about the Bruce Welsh abuse on the Apollo, where he was locked up uh, under guard and, uh, you know, he was having a psychotic break. And, and we told that story in detail on there as well. And then well, we also, also did a whole series. We also did a whole series on Scott and Carrie Campbell and the abuse that they went through years later on the free winds and Scientology and Scott was actually abducted and locked up and locked away. And that was a, a heartbreaking story, something that I didn't know the details of. I think Janice, you knew some of it, but it was really, really uh, a horrific story. But there's a whole series of interviews with yeah. uh, Scott and Carrie on our channel. Janice, what did you want to say? Well, no, when I was talking back on um, Bruce Welsh's story, because we've got more to that when we, in our next interview with Stu Moreau, he was also involved in that. So we'll have another section covering that story again. And yes, uh, on Scott, that was heartbreaking with, uh, basically he was kidnapped and he was uh, tied up and kept captive. And it's a horrid story. I mean, having really, grown really up is. in Scientology, I would never have believed that Scientologists were capable of, of that and they are. Yeah. Yeah, it was really disgusting. Uh, and as a matter of fact, we recorded a, uh, we recorded an interview with them, and I got so angry and upset that Janice and I actually had a fight. 
<laughs> which we resolved afterwards. But we decided we're not going to show that one. We're going to redo the whole show because I was so upset about how Scott was treated. When he was right. in there that I, I kind of lost it. So anyway, but it's yeah, funny he, to laugh about it now. <laughs> he didn't keep his TRs in. No, I did not. No, I was kind of upset. Hi, Linda Golan. It's nice to see you here. The other thing that we've also covered on our channel is we've covered and interviewed people that have spoken out over the years, uh, one of which is John McClain, his mother, Nan McClain. They were famous uh, critics in Canada in the 1970s, and I called them the original gangsters because they basically caused all sorts of trouble for Scientology in Canada in the 70s, and Nan McClain uh, spoke out up until the day she died at 90-something years old, and we had John on for uh, two or three interviews, and there were really fascinating stories that he told. Of course, you knew him on the ship too, right, Janice? Yeah, I knew him on the ship uh, when we were in Morocco. He helped actually man up the sec check missions that were supposed to go in and uh, do security checking of various military people and people around the King of Morocco. And we covered that in uh, our interviews with John. Yep. All of these interviews are available on our channel at any time if you haven't seen them. And then we had an interview with Ursula Caberta, who was the German official, the German political government official who investigated Scientology for years and actually knew more about Scientology than most Scientologists did about Scientology. And that was arranged by our friend Michael Laws. And that was really great, wasn't it? Uh, yes. Yeah. Michael Laws did. Yeah. He, uh, and yeah, Michael Laws was on the interview with us. That's right. That's right. Yes. But Ursula is, has, was a fighter for many, many years, and we had her on there as well. And then we did reporters. We have Steve Kinane, who's an Australian reporter. Uh, he was in London at the time, and he was going to the Ukraine to cover the Ukraine war. But he did a book called Fair Game. And uh, he, Janice, why don't you tell a little bit about him? I'm just going to let Misha out the front door. Yes. Uh, Steve is an Australian reporter, and he, he started reporting on Scientology and started digging into uh, government archives and things like that. And his book is so detailed about the ban of Scientology in uh, Victoria, which is what caused my whole family and other, uh, over a hundred other families to pack up and leave Australia and go to England. And that's all covered in his book. And I'm actually trying to get a hold of him, but he's probably still out on, he's been out on the front in Ukraine covering Ukraine war. So when that's all over with, uh, hopefully I can get him back on and we'll discuss the uh, Victorian ban or I'll just have to do it on my own. And we'll, we'll just see how that goes. That's, that's great. And then, of course, we covered Phil Jones, his story. He's the man behind the billboards. Uh, Phil and Willie, his wife, Willie, uh, their children are still in Scientology, disconnected from him. And disconnection is a big focus of our channel, right, Janice? Oh, yeah, yeah. I I grew up with disconnection, having to disconnect from my mom and then later from my dad and then later from my brother and then family members had to disconnect from me. And it, I hate it. And it's no one should be shunned. And it is so against what people are supposed to be learning in Scientology. So I'm very much against it. And I I support connection and getting people back in communication and re reforming families again and friendships. That's right. That's right. Okay. All told in one year, we did 194 videos. I was shocked when I saw the total 194 videos. We had over 630,000 views. <laughs> we had over 200,000 viewing hours, meaning hours of people watching our channel and over 9,200 subscribers, and we're still growing. And uh, when I did the math on this, when I saw it, I was like, you know, Scientology Miscavige gets uh, 3,000 people at the Ruth Eckert Hall for, you know, whatever, the March 13th event. I mean, we get on average more people than that watching each of our videos over the last year. And it just goes to show you that they can have multi, multi millions of dollars for their, as their Scientology TV network and all that. And little old Janice and I, we're run on a shoestring here <laughs> in, in Las Vegas with no money. 
and we're able to draw more people watching our stuff, which I never would have believed in a million years. How about you, Janice? <laughs> yeah, and you know, I appreciate it when when I read all the comments and there's comments in there saying how underrated we are or that we're not appreciated as, or people just don't recognize the value. And I really appreciate that because it takes a lot of work to go through photos and put them in order and, you know, and tell stories on it and rack my brain to remember different things. And then I'll go, I'll do a show and I'll, next day I'm like, damn, I forgot this part. But <laughs> that's how it is. C'est la vie. <laughs> yeah. And so we, we definitely want to thank all of our viewers and the members of our channel. We really appreciate you watching. The comments are really wonderful. We get negative ones every once in a while. But majority, 95% of them are really positive. And I, I, we're glad that you're here. And we're really glad that you enjoy our content. And we have a lot more that's going to come up in the next year uh, that we're going to cover more of the history and all that sort of thing. But uh, we want to let you know that we appreciate you watching and all that. And it's part of that appreciation, Janice, I forgot to mention, we're going to do a giveaway, aren't we? We're going to give away one oh, of your books. Oh, yes. Yes, <laughs> one of my books. <laughs> <laughs> we're yes. going to do that short just just a little bit okay so what what will happen is you get in the chat and will it be book me book me we're not doing it yet we'll give you an advance warning but we're going to give you a, give you a free book uh free you know shipping it janice will autograph it to you and all that sort of stuff we want to say thank you and then so i just wanted to pop up a couple comments we thank you too thank you so much love it we appreciate it somebody else here is saying well done to us we thank you and uh Oh, wow. And somebody just gave us a super chat. Wow. Carolyn oh. Wilson, thank you so much. Towards your fight against disconnection. You guys are great on history. Thank you so much. That's greatly appreciated. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I wanted to also mention, too, there was another thing that I that I start here that uh, um, Aaron will love is that uh, Pamela Crawford, she just placed an order for her salve that Aaron makes and she can't wait to use it. So that's good. a good she She'll, you'll love it, Pam. You'll love it. And then another comment. This is from Elizabeth that Mark, thanks for setting up groupings of the videos that make sorting through the interviews and stories much easier. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. that's a normal thing on YouTube, but I decided we do so many of these things. And I thought people will want to watch them if they if they just join our channel now. They don't know what we did in the last year. So I, I grouped them together. So that way, if you want to see the, for instance, the L. Ron Hubbard Messengers series, they're all lined up in a row. You can start on the first one and then hit autoplay and it'll go all through all, all eight of them, you know. Yeah, and and uh, I, I go into the history of how the first messenger came about and then how it formed from there with four four young girls on the ship and then seven of us on the ship. And then it just formed and kept growing. So I, I go into great detail on that with some great photographs of us young girls. But it's, it's, it is makes it easier, hopefully, for everybody. Like Ken Urquhart has a section. Biddy Miscavige has a section. Uh, you know, Scott and Carrie Campbell have a section. And uh, Laura, Laurie Driscoll says, hey, chat, Mark, Janice, congrats on one year. Truly a cool thing to do a retrospective. Seems I've only seen half. Riches of content here. Thank <laughs> you so much. Well, you've got lots of viewing to keep you busy. <laughs> We've been averaging about two videos a week you know, and that's been kind of our schedule. And then we try and do a live. Uh, we used to do one a week, but now we're trying to do them once every other week, uh, depending on schedules and stuff like that. But uh, we're going to continue to pump that stuff out. Um, there's lots of different things that we want to cover, as I mentioned before. And we've just yeah. scratched this, right, Janice? But yeah, but we can't do live every week and or every two weeks because I like to vacation. That's right. <laughs> yeah. When she vacations, she goes for like three weeks or a month. You know what I mean? It's like, and then I cover the fort, which I don't mind doing, but yeah, Janice is gone for a while. <laughs> but then everyone gets to hear my stories afterwards where I go back to Morocco or back to Portugal or, or go back. I'm going to resail through the Panama Canal, which I did when I was 10 years old. <laughs> That's funny. Pamela Crawford says, your memory is so amazing. My memory is not as good as yours. Well, thank you. And my memory is pretty good too. Janice is pretty good. Uh, I think that's to David Miscavige's detriment, okay? Because he forgets more things than we remember, you know, about the history. He just is moving forward. And uh, that's one of the things that he did uh, about Scientology to wipe out their history. He got rid of anybody who had been around L. Ron Hubbard or they aged out and died, 
you know, and so people are around in Scientology now, they know nothing about the early days of Scientology. So we're trying to put that on the record. And guess what, Dave, it's in cyberspace. It'll be here forever, you know. So anybody <laughs> researching Scientology 100 years from now will be able to hear about the beginnings of Scientology in the Sea Org, thanks to the videos that we've been putting out, uh, Janice, about Hubbard yep. and, uh, and all the different stuff, right? No, yeah, there's no getting rid of us. No, we're, no, we're, no, we're no. etched in stone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate all the uh, nice comments. Thank you, Marty D. Uh, thanks for that nice comment here. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention, okay, uh, we're going to go, we're going to do the drawing here in just a minute here, Joey. So if you want to get in the chat, uh, Janice, why don't you, do you have the book you can show that you're going to give away? Um, no, I thought you'd bring it up. Hang on a sec. No, I don't have it. I can. I'll bring it up one second. No, I, I got it. I, 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 I always have your book. <laughs> there it is right oh, there. Uh, okay. <laughs> so anyway, you, you can get an autographed copy of Janice's book. We're going to give it away right now in the chat. And uh, but basically if, just get in there. Yeah. If they already have book one, just let me know and I'll send you book two. That's right. And, and whichever book. Uh, it'll be autographed by me. And if you want me to give you a personal message, include that in an email to me so I get your address. And if you want me to say something special. So, yep, let's that, get people in right. the chat. Well, ever to get in the chat. In the meantime, I wanted to mention that um, I have another channel, which also, if you go down in the description, you can click and subscribe to my channel. It's totally different from Scientology. It's Las Vegas Travel and More, and it's with me. And it's, I've had it for about six months. And I'm, I'm announcing a new show that's going to be on there. It's going to be a live once a week, okay? And this is it here. I'm calling it Freestyle with Mark Fisher, right? And uh, it's going to be Saturday mornings. Uh, where you know you guys can participate and uh, come in and talk. We're going to be talking about what are you reading? What books are you reading? What shows are you watching on TV? How about movies? You know, travel. What about your dogs? You know, it's going to be more personal type stuff. Travel. Where are you going? And we're going to have guests on as well. So anyway, it's going to be Saturdays. Uh, and I'll post the time. But that's what the first thumbnail is going to be look, looking like. I'd really appreciate it if you all would look for that. Um, I'm only going to be streaming it on my Las Vegas Travel and More channel because I need I need more hours uh, to get the to get this, the channel up and running. So we're just going to be running it there. But if it pops up, watch it. It'll be fun. You can get in and, and we can talk about I want your suggestions, too. So it'll be a participation thing. And uh, so anyway, go to Las Vegas Travel and More, click on the subscribe button. And then when you see this uh, thumbnail pop up on your menu on Saturday, you can either watch it live or watch the replay. So I just wanted to say thank you for everybody for that. <laughs> well, good, good for you, Mark. Um, you you keep saying we, but it's you. This is your channel, and you're yeah, but no, we we are the viewers. We we and the viewers. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, we okay. And I wanted to say, though Mark says it's not about Scientology. If you're reading my book, you can bring it up on his channel and discuss it. <laughs> I, I, it's a wide open discussion, but basically it's just a channel for people if they want to talk about other things. I mean, I got Janice finally to watch the television show Lost, which she just finished. And it was because I did that channel, the, the shows on my channel, about the time that I went to Hawaii to see all the locations on Lost. And uh, so Janice uh, made it through all six seasons, right, Janice? Yeah, I did. I, I binge watched. Well, with only me and the dogs, I'd just sit down with the dogs and binge watch the evening away <laughs> in your sauna <laughs> in my i have a sauna blanket so i'll lie on the couch in my sauna <laughs> uh frank moreland has something for you to do janice janice please remind folks to rock slam the like button oh definitely rock slam the like button absolutely <laughs> yes Anyway, okay, well, we're going to go to questions first, but but first, before we do that, get in the chat, and we're going to give away uh, your book, Janice. So what we're going to do yep. is um, okay. go in and say, book me, 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 whatever you want to say in the chat, or just randomly going to pick somebody. Uh, I'll count down from five. So you can do it as many times as you want. Just keep on, you know, getting in the chat and saying the different things, and uh, we'll count down. Janice, you can count down from five, you know. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and pick somebody. All right. 
All right, five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Amber Vanessa, Amber. please. Congratulations, Amber, you've won the book. Hold it up, Janice. Hold the book up. It's right here. Either book one or book two autographed to you, okay? Uh, now, I should have mentioned that this is in the U.S. So we're going to send it to you. I hope you're in the United States. Uh, it, you know, if you're not, then let us know and we'll, we'll see what we can arrange. But uh, anyway, what you need to do, Amber, is email Janice uh, your, your name, address, and uh, email address where we can send you the book and also anything that you would like to have her inscribe in the book to you. And uh, she'll get it shipped out to you you know, within a couple of days. So uh, just email her at Janice Gillum at gmail.com. That's Janice Gillum at gmail.com. And uh, you are a winner here. So we want to say thank you so much. Amber. Happy reading. Yeah. Everybody's saying congrats to Amber. Yeah. You, you get it. All righty. Oh, there she goes. Amber says, thank you. Thanks. You're welcome, Good. Amber. We really appreciate it. All right. We're going to go into questions that have already been starred. If you have another question you'd like to ask, just write the word question. We'll start and we'll answer away and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. And here we go. First question from Beyond Jehovah's Witnesses question. How does it feel to be one year old? Boy, it feels a lot better than being 65 <laughs> years old. That's for sure. <laughs> no, it's good. You know, uh, we've had a good it, time doing this. It's been a lot of fun, hasn't it, Janice? It has. I look forward to doing these. It's it's a joy for me. <laughs> and uh, Jehovah's Beyond Jehovah's Witness says, question, did you give Misha a treat for the anniversary? Yeah, I did. She gets lots of treat. I took her to the groomer last week, and she's looking really, really nice. So anyway, thanks very much for that. Uh, next question is from Love It. Question, uh, were you nervous starting the channel? A little bit, right, Janice? I mean, we didn't know what the reaction was going to... Well, we didn't know what the reaction was going to be from Scientology or from Miscavige. And we, we've had absolutely no harassment, no nothing. Yeah, right? none, none. We, we had some we had some hate. Some people get in the chat and try and troll us and that type of thing. But we just ignored it. And it just went away. So it wasn't really... Yeah, we, we figured it was OSA. Yeah, so we don't we don't have any moderators. So we just, we just go for it. That's right. And then uh, free... Free of mind question. How did you two originally decide to do this show together? Uh, you may have missed the beginning of the show, but basically uh, Janice met with Aaron Smith Levin when she was in, on a trip to Clearwater and he interviewed her. And then basically he said, you guys should do your own channel. And so she got back here and we talked about it and away we went. That's how it all started. Next question is from Elizabeth. Can you share future topics or interviews you plan to do in the future? Um, Janice, why don't yes. you go ahead? Have you got something you want to mention? Yeah, well, Hannah Eltringham, she's she's working on a few things right now. And when she's done with that, we'll do an interview with her. And I've got Amanda Strawn lined up. Uh, her mother was Amanda Ambrose, um, fame, a celebrity, one of the early celebrities at uh, Celebrity Center. And she'd been a good friend of my mother's. So Amanda and I will talk about days on the ship together and about her mother and her own life since uh, getting out of Scientology. And then I've got, um, we'll talk, I'll do an interview with several people. We'll talk about Quentin Hubbard. Um, I've still got the message, rest of the Messenger series to do. We've got Stu Moreau to finish and Sandy Holman to finish. And um, I've, I've got a whole list. We've got, we've got a long list of people. That's the other thing I wanted to mention too. I forgot to mention this too. We have had people reach out to us, Janice, right, who would normally not speak out or talk on any channel, but they feel safe. We try to create a yes. safe space on our channel. We don't criticize people on the channel, okay? We will challenge some of their ideas and that type of thing, but we make it safe for them to be able to state their point of view, and we don't attack people. So I think that's that's worked to our advantage because we've had a lot of people who said, oh, I, yeah. feel, I feel safe enough to come on your channel, and that's really helped us out. And we want that because, you know, we're reaching out not just to the people, the never-ins, people who have never been in Scientology. We're also reaching out to people that are still in. There are people under the radar that watch our channel, and they're learning stuff about Miscavige and Hubbard 
and Scientology that they would never hear on other channels. And that's not to say that the other channels aren't valuable. They're very valuable, extremely valuable. But that's just not what we do. We do our thing when we try and stay in our lane. So I just wanted to mention that. Yeah, no, that's a great point. There, there are some people that I've talked to, you know, because they're like, they've got some great stories, but they're like, oh, I don't want to go on because I don't want to be bullied. And uh, that's because there has, I've seen bullying on some of the other channels, but I know that our viewers have been wonderful and I appreciate that. And yeah. uh, hopefully, hopefully this one person who I really want to get on that is afraid of the being bullied will come on because she does have some good stories to tell. That's right. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Question. I'll just keep, keep massaging it. Yeah. Here's another question, Pamela Crawford. Hmm. How do you become a member of the channel? It's real simple. If you just go on the YouTube channel and hit the join, there's a join tab right at the top. Click on that and it gives you the different details of the, we have three different membership levels. Just the basic membership is great if you want to do that. It's just $3.99 a month. There's no contract. You can cancel at any time, but it helps support the channel. Uh, then there's a couple other membership levels. The top level, you get a free copy of Janice's book. Um, and it's, this is a monthly membership. But like I said, you can be a member for a month and then cancel if you like or whatever. But we really appreciate the support. All you have to do is just click that join tab and it's all laid out there for you. So I just wanted to mention that. Thanks, Pamela. All yeah. right. I'm well, you know, oh, Mark, you know, another, yeah. sub another subject I've got to cover uh -huh. is Madeira, Madeira, the rock festival in Madeira. And I've actually got a few people lined up and I've got to figure out how to do it, but I'll get there and figure it out so that we can tell the story of the rock festival in Madeira. Yeah, I saw that, Pamela, about joining mm -hmm. on your phone. Yeah, unfortunately, you got to do it from a PC or, or an iPad or that type of thing. On the phone, it doesn't have the join button there, but that, that's where you need to do it is from, from that. And uh, so I appreciate you, you mentioning that. Anyway, all right, let me go on to the next question here. Uh, we've got another super chat here. I'm going to go right to it. Uh, this is from Gretchen Philly. Thank you so much, Gretchen. We appreciate it. Uh, Misha's barking in the background, but I got to read this. Janice, I loved your first book. Do you think LRH kept your family apart in the Apollo years to punish your mom because she rebuffed his advances? Oh, that's a loaded question, but it's a good one. <laughs> a very good one. You better, you better. I'm muting it out. Go ahead. Mute, mute her out. Yeah. Um, yes, I do. Um, because I watched him put other families back together when, you know, Fran Broker came to the ship and Pat Broker was in LA and Hubbard's gone for nearly a year. And when he comes back, he finds out that Pat's still not on the ship and, and he got mad about it and ordered Pat to the ship because his wife was there. And I've seen that with other couples as well and other families where they've been separated and Hubbard comes along and puts them back together. But with my family, he didn't do it. And even when my mother petitioned to have her children sent to her, it was denied. And this was after it was all worked out. We were going to set up a advanced organization on the East coast. And my mother was to be the commanding officer so that her children can be sent to her and go to school and then that was all canceled and petition denied. And so, yes, I, I though it's a loaded question, I do think um, it was punishment to her. Yeah, I was teasing when I said a loaded question. It was actually a good question. But uh, anyway, that's, that, that's, yeah. that's a good answer. <laughs> Thanks very much, Gretchen. Uh, we've got another question. This is from Peter Anderson. Question mark. Can you put a, a join link on your community tab for the iPhone users? I'll check it out. I'll try and see if that works. If, if I can, I will. Um, but uh, that's a good suggestion, so I'll look into that. So thanks very much. And uh, let me go back to the start questions here and see where we were at. Uh, okay, we did that one. We did that one. Here we go. Did I do this one? Uh, beyond Jehovah's Witness, uh, Janice, will your <laughs> son come on and talk about his feelings on Scientology? I doubt it. I he's a, he's a very private individual. Uh, he's he's not like his mother. 
<laughs> he never he, had any real interest in it, right? I mean, he just didn't. He's never. He, as a kid growing up, he would sit at the table and just listen to all the stories, but he's never reached for it to learn it or anything like that. And he just does his own thing. His whole interest was physical fitness and nutrition, and that's what he does. Very successful at it, too. Very successful, yes. right, Janice? Yeah, and, and he is proof of his own belief in nutrition and physical oh, fitness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, again, from beyond a Jehovah's Witness question mark, can you have Leah Remini on your show? We would love to have Leah on our show. Um, I don't have any contact with her. And yeah. Janice, I don't know if you do. But I'll, I I'll have, have to reach on. out. I'll have yeah. to reach out and see what we Janice, can do. Janice was on the Aftermath show with uh, Leah and Mike. Uh, yeah, I was ago. on I was on season three, episode five, or season five, episode three, one of those, on, on the uh, Where's Shelly. I, I did a section on that with no. Mike and Leah. No. Okay, next question is from Bingo McCann. Uh, question, where in the physical world do Scientologists think memories are stored? Or in other words, how can a person have memories as a zygote? Um, you know... Scientology believes you're a spiritual being and that you're not your body. Okay. And attached, you also have, you have a, what in Scientology, they believe you have a reactive mind, which is where you store a lot of uh, uh, painful emotion and that type of thing. And also, you have an analytical mind. But also, Hubbard says that, you know, you basically, your memory is attached to you as a spiritual being in this lifetime. And so, you, you know, he said you have a file clerk that, you know, when somebody says something, oh, yeah, I remember that, you know, because it pulls it forward. I mean, that's just his simplistic way of explaining memory. Um, I have and Janice have really good memories. I don't know that that would be the case. Uh, I probably would still have a good memory if I'd never been involved in Scientology. But for some reason, I seem to have a good memory and I don't equate that to Scientology. But, um, you know, uh, some people have it and some people don't. How about you, Janice? I have a good file clerk in my head. <laughs> We're running back and forth. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next question here is uh, beyond Jehovah's Witnesses. Mark, would you interview your mom about Scientology? Uh, you know, my mother is 93, almost 94 years old, and she's not, her memory is not good. She had a really bad experience because my, my dad divorced her over it. And then, of course, then her family was torn apart. So she has very negative, uh, you know, opinion about it. But, um, you know, I've told her story. There's a video on our channel where I talked about her history and her story. And that's available for people to see. But she's just not up to it now at this time point in her life. But thank you for that question. And she her I did that one well, Donna Donna seemed I think Donna is trying to go back and forth between your two your two channels, Mark. And she's asking, can we see her? Well, I can see her on this channel. Yeah, I can I see her. And the, I I no, I see it. I see her her comments and all okay. that. Yeah, yeah. No, they're there. You're talking about Donna Jenkins? Yeah, I put her yes. up. Yeah, here is she. I'm just putting it up like that. So yeah. it's there. All right. Let me go back to the questions here. I don't know if there's any. Uh, okay. Sorry. I, I fill in if you want to, Janice, while I look at this. Yeah. Something. I was going to say, Amber, if you have lots of stories growing up at the PAC base, email me and let's schedule you coming on this show. I, I would enjoy that. Yeah, we did. We just did recently did an interview with Claire Swayze, who, is a, who was in Scientology at a mission. And also as a you know loyal viewer of our channel, and it was a really good show. I mean, we're, we're interested in people's stories and experiences because you know one thing we learned is that our experiences are not necessarily the same as everybody else's, and everybody has a different history, and it's worth telling those stories. So anyway, yeah, if yeah. you're interested, reach out to us. We're, we're definitely interested in putting you on our channel. I don't they're know. Oh, I think this. I know what this is. Go ahead, Janice. Yeah, there's also some interviews I did with Lara FM on her channel where right. we talk about me growing up as a kid in the Sea Org and her growing up in the kid as a Sea Org. And we do some comparisons on that and tell different stories and things that I knew because there was a point that I was over the project of setting up the, the uh, base in Hammett to have some of the kids come up there. So... You can also check out Lara FM's uh, channel where I'm on with her. And and I want to have her come on our channel as well so we can discuss some things. Yeah, And, and we, any, other, been... any other kids, 
any other kids that grew up in the Sea Org, and if you want to come tell your story, I want to expose it. So yeah, and we've been me. we've been on other people's channels too. You've been on Lara FM's. We've been on Aaron's channel. We've been on Mark and, and Claire Headley's channel. We've been on Sterling Tompkins' channel. Uh, we just, you know, we're on. We did something with Tori Chrisman. I mean, so we're we're open. Anybody wants to interview us, we're open yeah. to talk about anything. You know what I mean? So uh, please, you know, we we love the exposure uh, and all that. The, here's the next question and, from Cece, who's a member of our channel. <laughs> Janice, when is number three coming out? You know what that is. That's why you're delaying answering it. That's book three. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm having too much fun doing this stuff. It's easier than having to sit there and grind away typing and the emotions that you go through when you're writing. It's like a roller coaster ride. Um, I get, I guess, it, I get just go deeper than when I'm on a YouTube channel talking. But I think I'll get there. I'm, I'm a type of person that likes to finish things. And I have started it, but I've blown from it. And I, I do need to uh, get my ethics in and get back to it. So I'll, I'll have to figure that out. I also want to figure out setting up my office to so I can do the um, voiceover recording. or the reading, the recording yeah, of my too. book too. Right. So I, I've got a backlog of things to do, but I also enjoy vacationing. That's right. Okay. And then uh, Lovett says, Mark, what time is your Saturday show? Okay. The, again, I'll mention this is my show on my other channel, the Saturday Freestyle with Mark Fisher. It's going to be live. It's going to be Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific time, which will be 12 noon uh, Eastern time, Saturday morning. Uh, so 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 noon Eastern time. And then you can figure it out. If you're in Europe, you can watch it, uh, I think, at that point in time because you'll still be awake. But that's when the show is Freestyle with Mark Fisher on Las Vegas Travel and more. And I would appreciate it if you guys, uh, you know, come and watch. You can join in and participate. And it's going to be a fun show. So anyway, thanks very much for that. I uh, love it. Next question is right here for Janice. And this is from Salted Caramel Whiskey. Ooh, that sounds good. Salty caramel whiskey. Uh, question for Janice. Will your sister be coming onto the channel? It would be great to see you together. We will We will see. What we'll the wait uh, and see? You will have to wait and see. Um, yeah. Well, she, she's, just, she's got several other things going right now. But, um, yeah, we'll have to wait yeah, and see. Yeah, she's, she's got stuff that she's doing, and she's very, very busy. But, uh, yeah, we, we would love to have her on. And it's, there's no, it's nothing personal or anything like that. Uh, we, Of course, obviously, we get along with her. We go out to dinner with her all the time, and Janice sees her all the time. But, no, we would love to have her on at some point. But it's not it's not that time right now. Yeah, she, she's she got so many horses <laughs> that she her, her spare time is taken up riding them. So she's working on selling three of them. So if anyone... Once three horses, she's selling them. <laughs> yeah, just so you know, Janice's sister Terry. Not only she, not only she's a very successful real estate agent here in Las Vegas, specializing in horse properties and ranches. But she has her own ranch, and she boards how many horses, Janice? It's a ton, right? I mean, she's got oh, yeah. she's got a full yeah. setup, and she's had that business for years because she loves horses all her life. And so she's between that and her real estate business and other things that she does, she's always got her hands full. And she also houses Janice's chickens and her eggs, right, Janice? <laughs> yes, she does. Yep, they have their own little hen house at her ranch. And I, I go there and I pick up my eggs. And um, yeah, but yeah, she's got, I remember at one point she had eight horses because she also does horse rescuing. And then if, if someone has a trouble with the horse, she'll work with that horse. And uh, that, that all that stuff keeps her busy. Yeah, exactly. Thank you for that question. Uh, next one, Mary Kay London. Thank you so much for being a member of our channel, Mary Kay. Question, Janice, did you feel like you were lucky seeing all the countries when you were on the ship? Lucky. Um. Well, you know, I, I I guess I just took it for granted that, you know, oh, I go to these different countries. Um, I guess you can say it's lucky because most people don't get to travel the world like I did from the, you know, 
I mean, I left Australia. I just turned 10 years old um, and 20 days when I left Australia for the first time. And and the, suddenly this big world became real to me where before it was not real. I was just a happy little Aussie girl with no no thoughts of the rest of the world, except for I knew that if I dug a hole deep enough, I'd find China on the other side. And that's how my life was until suddenly I'm like sailing from Australia to England, in England for a year and a half, and then I'm on a ship for eight years. So it it was just normal for me to go to these different places. And I appreciate it now. I don't regret um, having grown up on a ship. I had lots of great experiences and bad That's ones, great. but I like to remember yeah. the good ones. Exactly. Uh, we've got the next question here, which falls in line. Are you Scientologists? This is from Jason McKenzie. Uh, no, we're not Scientologists. At least mm -hmm. I'm not a Scientologist. Are you, Janice? No. <laughs> no, but I do find myself every now and again still thinking like a Scientologist or, you know, or, oh, that's that's so Scientology of me. <laughs> But, but it's the way I was raised, being born into it. Sometimes it's just like with the language. You don't know what's proper English and what Scientology is until you get out in the real world and you start learning new words. I mean, Scientology was my first language. That's right. That's right. Thank you for that question. Uh, here's the next question here from Lean On Me. Question, would it be possible to tell the stories of how you and your friends have been able to be so successful in your careers after Scientology? It's very inspiring when you all talk about that. That's a great suggestion, Lean On Me. What yeah. do you think, Davis? Yeah, we, we can definitely do that. And we can even talk about having paid friends and overcoming paid friends and PIs in our life and still being successful. Fair gaming. That's exactly Begging. right. And and that's a, that's another subject that we're going to be covering going forward. We forgot to mention uh, the Scientology private investor spies that were in our lives for years and what they did. And, uh, you know, we I, I personally suffered setbacks from that, you know, but we just keep on persevering and keep on keeping on, you know. Um, but, you know, yeah, we've, we've been through the ringer. And uh, but we yeah. But then also we want to do the positive stories because, you know, a lot of people have been very successful uh, after yeah. leaving Scientology who who had no, ed, you know, no education. Janice, you never even finished high school and you were I didn't, I only, in the mortgage business. Yeah, I, I did only three months of seventh grade. That's not even high school in America. That's <laughs> junior high. I, I, I did grade six in England and that was it. Yeah. But there's lots of people that are like that, that left the Sea Org and left Scientology and they become very successful. So that's a great suggestion. And, and we will yeah. definitely uh, do something like that. And then here's a question from Amber Vanessa, our book, our book winner question. Can you please say the email address again so I can get it correctly? I'm going to put it up here for you so you can read it right here. It's Janice Gillum Grady at gmail.com. And Gillum was with two L's. So it's Janice right. Gillum Grady at gmail.com. Just send your email there. We just need your name, your mailing address, your email address, and uh, and what you would like her to write in the book to you if you want book one or book two. And uh, we'll get it shipped off. Janice will get it shipped off. Yeah, She's and, really and fast about that. Janice is with an S as in Janice Joplin. Right. Not, not an I-C-E, just an S. That's right. And do we have any other questions here? I've got to go back up and see. I don't have any more start in here, Janice. Do we have any in the regular chat? Uh, any other comments? No, I've been I've been looking. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Uh, Betsy Sue is in the house. Just want to say hi. I'm at work. Can't watch till later, but I'm popping in chat to say hello and congrats. Hey, thanks very much, Betsy Sue. We really appreciate you. Oh, here's uh, you're a couple a more. Dedicated member. Yeah, with some more questions. If you got more questions, yeah. go ahead. Write question, put them in there, and uh, we will definitely ask them. I've got this one here from Lisa Lupin. Uh, question: Did people leave Scientology more with LRH or DM? Did they punish similarly? Janice. Well, DM's been in command longer, but with the difference with Hubbard is that when he found out someone didn't want to be there, the personnel department had 24 hours to get them gone. 
He didn't hold people there in punishment, lock them. Uh, well, he, I was locked up for 11 days. <laughs> but, um, but normally people weren't locked up. And if Hubbard knew about it, normally he would say, a lot of them have gone in 24 hours. And there were times where he would say, all right, anyone who wants to leave, you got 24 hours to be gone. And uh, where miscarriage, that hasn't happened. And also Hubbard would do amnesties every now and again. And I know, I think the last amnesty issued was in like 1991 because the uh, justice chief even wrote me and asked me to accept the amnesty. And I'm like, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's go on to the next question here. And this is from Michael Henry. Do you feel that LRH's intentions and motivations in the beginning were totally pure and honest? Or do you feel that corruption and deception were there from the get go in his mind and heart? Thanks. My personal feelings is that he believed what he was doing. I mean, at least my experience when he I was in the C organization as to what his motivations were in the beginning. I don't know. Uh, but obviously a lot of people got involved in it, you know, and if you watch any of our stories from people that got involved in the 60s, 70s and 80s uh, or 60s and 70s, um, they got a lot of personal benefit from it and then it went bad. So, you know, nothing was perfect and there were a lot of abuses. But uh, I think that Janice, you, you can comment better. Don't do you think that he was uh, motivated to you know change the world or what, what, what did you think? Yeah, I saw both sides of him, the the good side and the evil side. The good where I've seen him staying up till six, seven, eight o'clock in the morning, uh, case supervising folders, believing that he's helping those people. And then I've seen him on a reign of terror of, you know, just every day certain targets were done. A crew member was sent to the rehabilitation project force. So I've seen both sides on it. And from seeing it, I've always felt he believed in what he was doing and that he was helping people. That's what was in his head. And, um, yeah, okay. I, I, I mean, he's a man who didn't take any time off. He didn't have golden faucets or anything like that. You know, we lived on a dumpy, rusty, filthy cattle ship, you know. <laughs> <laughs> a rust yeah, bucket. We worked, a rust bucket. We worked on fixing it up, you know, and but he didn't live he, elaborately. He didn't have Yeah, he didn't have the luxury lifestyle that David Miscavige has. Not even close. Have, and even on his food, he didn't have food flowing in from other from a restaurant and all that kind of stuff. You know, it's like he was not a big spender. He was pretty frugal about him, his lifestyle. Yep. All right. Thanks for that question. Next one, Elizabeth question. Would you, Janice, be willing to do a recreation video to the circa 1963 video, LRH video? He is giving a tour of St. Hill and introducing Scientology. Can't post the link in the chat. D um, Tony Ortega just recently posted yeah, that. Do you I, remember that movie? I, I remember seeing it years ago with Red Sharp and, and Hurt. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I saw Tony post and I kept thinking, oh, I've got to go watch that again. And I Me haven't too. gotten back to it. So, uh, yeah, I guess I guess I'll have to do that for you. Uh, 1963. Now, I was not at St. Hill in 63. I got there in 66, but I was at St. Hill. So and I did know Hubbard. So I'll watch it and I'll see what I can do for you. OK, great. Uh, next question here, or Elizabeth has a comment. Love the Q&As. Thanks for sharing your one-year anniversary with us. You're very welcome, Elizabeth. We appreciate you being here. Comment from o OBG Foster. Comment, your channel is the one I would recommend to still ends. The stories are so interesting. Congratulations. So thank you very much. That's a nice comment. We appreciate it. Uh, next question. This is uh, Lisa Lupin again. If DM didn't exist, what do you think would have happened to Scientology? I think it probably would have expanded more than what it has. Yeah. And I think I'd probably still be brainwashed and in there. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, 
my feeling is, is that if he wasn't there, they would still continue to do, they would expand, they would have expanded much bigger, right? But they still would have followed Hubbard's policies and that wouldn't have changed. It's possible that maybe with uh, some actually good hearted leadership, which there were people that were like that, yeah. that maybe they would have changed the abuses that were going on uh, with uh, the Office of Special Affairs. Uh, I don't think they would have abused children if somebody was good hearted in there. And I think that those type of things would have happened. But uh, who knows? You know, it's all speculation. Uh, we All I know is that uh, David Miscavige is evil incarnate. And uh, that is his basic mm -hmm. personality. And that's not going to change until he's gone. Anyway, thanks very much for that. Right. All right. Here's what uh, Michael Henry commented. Many thanks for that answer. That is what I always thought. I was involved for a few years. Thank you very much for that. And here's another question uh, from Fred Moreland. Question. When Sonia Bianco was presented as a clear and failed various tests, did you hear about it? while you were in or was it covered up internally? I don't even remember that. That probably was in the 1950s, right? Yeah, but I don't even think it was like covered up. It just, people just probably didn't know about it and life just goes on as different people change. There's different stories, just like with us. You, you, There's stories you hear from other people that we don't know about or there's stories you hear from us that nobody knew about because it's just not discussed or, or it doesn't come up. People don't know history. Exactly. Listen, I wanted to mention again, if you're interested in uh, Aaron, Janice's daughter's product, the CBD salve Oracle, you go to, um, here it is right here, uh, healedbyoracle.com, healedbyoracle.com. You can order that there. And uh, she's giving a 10% discount. The discount code is one year, all in, all in, no space, just one year, year, all one word. And that's for the natural CBD healing salve. Uh, you can order it there. I just wanted to mention that. And uh, as I mentioned before, if Saturday, if you're not doing anything, I'd really appreciate y'all watching my channel, Las Vegas Travel and More, Freestyle with Mark Fisher. You'll see the thumbnail come up on your on your, on your your uh, menu and just click on it, watch it live, or you can watch the replay. But I think I'd love to have some of you in there chatting with me because I need I don't want to be lonely. <laughs> so anyway, that'll be Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 noon uh, Eastern time. And uh, we just want to thank everybody for being here. And we wish, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. It helps get the word out and the message to everybody. Rock slam that like button, Janice likes to say. And if you have any other questions or anything, comments like that, if you have suggestions for guests for our show or anything like that, just go in the comment section. We check them all the time. Right, Janice? Go ahead. E yes. Even if it's yourself that wants to be a guest, just contact me. I would love to have more guests and more variety and different stories. From they, You don't have to have been Sea Org. You don't have to have been Class 4 Org staff or Class 5 Org staff. You know, be mission staff, be public, have grown up in it, be cadet Org, anything. It's, it's part of the history, and we'd love to capture it. Absolutely. And then the, the other thing I'd want to say, if you'd like to donate to our channel, just buy me a coffee. There's a link in the video description. Just click on that link. You can buy us one coffee, 10 coffees, 100 coffees, whatever you want. It's all the money just goes right back into the channel. But we appreciate the support. It's an easy way for you to donate to our channel. Or you can also join and become a member of our channel. You click on that join button on the channel page on a computer. I'll check out see, to see how we can do it on a phone. If I can, I'll put it in the community tab for you all. But uh, become a member of our channel. Uh, we're, we're thankful for Denver Stevo. He gifted uh, some channel memberships today. And some of you are now channel members. And we appreciate that. But uh, if you want to support us, that's another way to do that for us. And... Uh, can you post your other channels, Mark? Um, it's uh, Las Vegas Travel and More. Just just search Las Vegas Travel and More, and you'll see a picture of me holding Misha as a puppy. Just click on that, and you can subscribe to uh, the channel right there. Um, that's the easiest way to subscribe to it, um, and that, that's my suggestion. The The actual at, at address is at mfisherlv uh, is the at address, but it's just easier. Just search for Las Vegas travel and more and you'll be able to find it how much do cough but how much coffee do two persons drink you know what it depends on how late we're staying up or if we have an all-nighter 
I don't even drink coffee. I drink water and lemon juice. <laughs> Pamela says she found it. Great, great. Thank you so much, okay. Pamela. I appreciate that. <laughs> and then Sue Irwin, thanks, hey, Irwin. I'm going to watch from the beginning. I will add questions in the comments. Thank you for having us. Thank you for great. being here. And then Denver Stevo says, do it. Yes, become a member. Denver Stevo has been a member. He's a good friend of the channel. Hey, Denver Stevo, if you want to come on my show on uh, Saturday at 9 o'clock Pacific, just come on, please. And if you want to, I'll, I'll add you in as a guest. Uh, you can contact me. You know how to do it. It's going to be um, Freestyle with Mark Fisher. And it's going to be a fun show anyway. All righty. Well, that's the show, everybody. We appreciate you all being here. And uh, Janice, have you got anything else that you would like to say before we end off? Oh, you've got your crab hat, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yep, this is the way to end and celebrate. You can the end the crab, the crab with the crab hat. Well, she, there's Janice in her crab hat. I don't you even know, have and... one straight. There we go. <laughs> it's just in your face, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, we want to thank you all for being here. We appreciate you. Again, thank you for uh, the first year of our show. And we have hopefully we'll have many more years to come. Uh, we enjoy doing it. And we really enjoy the interaction with our viewers. So thank you. Janice, anything else? No. Have a good day, guys. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.